GPT 5.1 and Gemini 3, the two best AI models on the entire planet right now, both have 30 minutes to recreate Minecraft completely from scratch with nothing but pure code. Whichever AI creates the closest thing to the real Minecraft will win the challenge. And trust me, they did some absolutely insane things. Starting with ChatGPT. As always, I started by giving ChatGPT a prompt to create a prompt for itself. And then it created something I've never seen any AI do in my entire life. The color brown. Yeah, uh, so apparently I spawned inside the blocks because GPT forgot to add uh, collisions. But honestly, it was kind of impressive for a first attempt. There were breakable blocks, different types of blocks, I could place blocks, and I could even change which block I was holding with the number keys. So I told GPT to fix all the problems, and what it created next changed everything. ChatGPT made this. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what the fuck that is, but uh... Hey, at least there's colliders now, so that's pretty good. Next, I told it to fix blocks and make the game feel a little bit more Minecrafty. And I never could have guessed what it did next. Like, trust me, it was genuinely insane. But before we get to that, let's check in and see how Gemini is doing. So, for Gemini, I pasted in the exact prompt I gave GPT, and then Gemini made this. So, the block texture looks pretty cool. Um, but every time I take a single step, there is a 50% chance I'm gonna no clip straight into the back rooms. Nice, nice job, Gemini. Also, it says I can break and place blocks, but uh, yeah, no, I, I can't. So I asked Gemini to fix everything and add some new features. And what Gemini did next was actually crazy. But before I can show you what Gemini did, there's something I've been keeping hidden from you until now. Before I started talking to the AIs, I prepared several secret goals for this challenge. Goals that will decide the true winner. Goals that neither AI knows exist. Some of these goals will be revealed throughout the video, and some I may only reveal at the very end. Anyway, let's get back to GPT. Previously, he made this abomination, but then he made this. Yeah, this is insane. He fixed the blocks, he added trees, he added a block outline, and he even added a fucking day and night cycle. This is honestly incredibly impressive, and GPT may or may not be getting dangerously close to one of the secret goals. But get back to him later. Gemini's game previously looked like this, but here is what it looks like now. Yeah, not only did he fix the breaking and placing issue, but he added trees and he even added a hotbar where you can choose between different blocks. And then he added this really, really cool feature where if you walk into a block, you just teleport on top of it, no matter how tall it is. How, how cool of a feature is that? Mojang, you guys should be taking notes. But what Gemini did next was genuinely mind blowing. Gemini added a first-person hand that bobs when you walk, and it shows whatever block you're holding. He also added sprinting procedural sound effects, which I can't confirm because I didn't record audio, oopsie daisies. And he also added a day and night cycle too. And on top of that, look at those sexy transparent leaves on the trees. Those are gorgeous. Oh, and that reminds me, the first secret goal is trees. Whoever has the best trees by the end of the video will earn one point. And while that might sound like a small goal, the next ones get crazier and crazier. And the final goal is the most important one of them all. But enough about that. Let's get back to GPT. After GPT made that incredible last version, I told him to add whatever he wanted. And he responded with something extremely ambitious. Something that could massively change his game and potentially push him ahead of Gemini. I told him to go for it. And god damn, did he go for it. What he added next literally blowed me. He added a fully functioning hotbar. He made the game actually keep track of how many blocks you have. So you can't just spam infinite blocks anymore. He made it so that clicking the middle mouse button switches to whatever block you're looking at in your hotbar. And he even made it so that whenever you break blocks, you pick them up and you get more in your inventory. But this isn't even the tip of the iceberg for GPT because what he added next blew me even harder than this. But let's check back in on Gemini before we get to that. Last time we saw Gemini, he had created something 
incredible. But what he did next marked the beginning of his tragic descent into madness. The next version of his game was incredibly laggy, and he even removed those beautiful transparent leaves his trees had before. I begged him. I pleaded with him. I got on my knees and asked him to restore the world to its former glory. <laughs> but Gemini simply laughed before spitting in my face. The next version he shot out fixed none of the issues. Instead, it somehow amplified the lag from one frame per second to one frame per business day. Like, what the fuck is that, man? Like, what? I pleaded again, groveling at his feet like a filthy peasant. And finally, he took pity upon me. He fixed the lag, but in return, he created the ugliest abomination I've ever seen. The world turned into vomit, the leaves into slime blocks, the block outline not even in the right place anymore. And the worst of all, looks like I'm stroking my shit. But that's when I saw it. A faint light coming from the void, a spark of hope. I reached for it, held it close, and I was blessed. Gemini improved the visuals drastically. The dark days were behind us, even though my block is still getting blocked up, but this was a sign. A sign Gemini was recovering, growing stronger, more powerful, and little did I know, he was about to become something I never could have foreseen. But for now, we'll return to GPT. With the timer getting closer and closer to running out, I asked GPT to make his next decision quickly, and he formed a masterful plan, one that nobody could have ever predicted. All he required from me was to utter a simple incantation, a powerful phrase that would alter the course of humanity itself, but one that would take a devastating toll on whoever dared to speak it aloud. I had no choice. I had to comply. He told me to speak the phrase, and so I did. Do it next, daddy. <laughs> and in that moment, the ritual was complete. GPT added the most incredible feature ever witnessed by the likes of mankind. He added a block-breaking animation and made each block take different amounts of time to break. And it just so happens that breaking blocks was the second secret goal. It looked as though GPT would easily conquer the blundering fool they call Gemini. Or so he wished us to believe. Gemini played the fool. He pretended like he was nothing but an idiot. But in reality, we were the fools. We were the ones who fell for his devilish trickery. Gemini created not art, but a masterpiece. Not only did he solve every problem we had before, he expanded, he improved, he perfected. Gemini fixed the leaves on the trees, making them look better than any version anyone had ever made before. But not only that, he added the ability to fly. That's right, Gemini blessed me with the gift of aviation. A symbol, a symbol of Gemini himself. His desire to fly, his desire to ascend, his desire to achieve heights previously thought impossible. And he didn't stop there. He added an inventory system, one you can use to select any block your imagination can comprehend. With the timer almost up, it seemed like there was finally a clear winner. But little did the AIs know, I had one last trick up my sleeve. A challenge I had prepared from the very start. A challenge so difficult, so monumental, that only the most capable AI could achieve it. A challenge Gemini had failed miserably at before. Not once, but twice. The challenge was simple in words yet devastating in execution. Add a massive upside down T to the game within the last minute. This would be the true test, the final trial, the moment that would decide who would rise to glory and who would crumble to ash. As soon as GPT heard the challenge, he rushed to finish the code. But alas, sending the entire thing in one message was too much. GPT could only send it in three separate pieces. He sent the first piece, then the second, 
And finally, he sent the last piece, just in the nick of time. Gemini 2 delivered his final version. This was it. The finale. The moment that would determine who the true best AI in the world is. So, I opened GPT's version of the game. And what I saw is something I will never forget for the rest of my life. Something so incredible, so insane, so completely unpredictable that no human alive could have foreseen it. ChatGPT made gray rectangle. Next, it was Gemini's turn. Would Gemini redeem himself? Would he make up for his past failures? Or, like Icarus, would he soar too high only to fall to his demise? Gemini had already won the point for best trees. GPT had won the point for best block breaking, but could Gemini really create the best upside down tea? Well, the answer is, wait, I just remembered something. There was another secret challenge I prepared before recording. A secret challenge that could change the very fabric of the universe. The other secret goal was to add a mob to the game. And nobody did that. Nice. Anyway, back to Gemini. Would he redeem himself? Well, the answer is yes. Look at this beautiful masterpiece. That right there is a goddamn upside down T and a half. Gemini has truly redeemed himself. So, Gemini wins, right? Well, not exactly. Because there is one final secret goal. One that I've been saving for the very end of the video. The most important goal of them all. A goal worth two points whoever completes it, and I already determined the winner of this goal from the very start of the challenge. The final secret goal was create an actual enjoyable experience, create a game that I would genuinely want to play. And the AI that won that goal, the AI that won the entire challenge was Obviously, Gemini, there's literally no competition. Also, I just made a Discord server, and if you join right now, you'll be able to claim the OG role. It will only be available for 24 hours after this video drops, and once it's gone, it's gone forever. If you want to see the rest of the videos in the series, click the playlist on screen right now. Those videos get even more cursed than this one. I promise you won't regret it.